Hey, it's Patrick here from the garagebandguide.com. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the iRig Keys IO from IK Multimedia and finding out if it's good with GarageBand. IK Multimedia have a track record of producing excellently playable and flexible MIDI controllers for both macOS and iOS at affordable prices. Their latest piece of kit, the iRig Keys IO, aims to be something more than just a plug-in and play keyboard however, with IK Multimedia touting it as a total music production system in a controller. I mentioned before that IK excel at manufacturing very playable controllers and this one is really no exception. The full sized keys on the more compact 25 key IO I have here just feel really good to play. While the keys aren't weighted, that's just not really a thing at this price point, they definitely have some heft to them that feels satisfying to play, even if, like me, you have big fat sausage fingers. IK have done something really interesting with the controls in the IO where you might find modulation and pitch wheels on other MIDI controllers. Here you'll find two programmable touch control strips. To be honest, I was a little skeptical before using them at first, but in use the strips are really responsive and work great. IK have also used touch sensitive buttons for the other controls here too. You've got a a dual action volume knob there and programmable data knobs on top. There's also eight velocity sensitive pads on the right hand side of the IO so you can tap out your drum beats, things like that. So far, so what, right? Well, the really interesting stuff going on with the iRig Keys IO is on the back of the controller. In my opinion, the feature that really sets the IO apart from other MIDI controllers in its class is the inclusion of a 24-bit 96kHz audio interface built right in. In fact, they've pretty much just added an iRig Pro IO onto the back of the controller. You're getting the same jack slash XLR combo input here with an excellent quality preamp, as well as 48 volt phantom power. How does it sound? I think it sounds great. In fact, I've recorded the voiceover for this video using the interface built into the IO. So what else is on the back here? Well, you'll find balanced stereo outputs for studio monitors, as well as a headphone output jack, which allows you to monitor directly from the unit. The IO comes with a couple of cables depending on what you want to plug it into and it is worth noting that in my testing I found it to be plug and play with GarageBand in both iOS on an iPad Pro and the latest version of GarageBand on a MacBook Pro running High Sierra. There's a socket for an optional power supply and a toggle switch here which lets you switch between battery power the IO takes four AA batteries, which are required if you want to connect to an iOS device without the optional power cable or USB power. IK Multimedia are renowned for bundling in versions of their homegrown software with their physical products and the iRig Keys IO is no exception. In fact, I kind of have to wonder if IK have gone off the deep end a wee bit here. For Mac users, they've thrown in the full version of Sample Tank 3, the T-Rex 4 Deluxe Mixing and Mastering Suite, the Centronic Pro 5 Synth, and provided you go for the 49 key version of the controller, you're also getting the Miroslav Philharmonic 2 CE Orchestral Workstation. iOS users can download full versions of Sample Tank, the Centronic Pro 5, and again, provided you go for the 49 key option, Miroslav Philharmonic 2 Collection. So you're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars slash euros slash pounds worth of software that comes free with this thing. As if that wasn't enough, IK just released a new control surface plugin that allows you to completely control GarageBand using the knobs and touch buttons on the iRig Keys IO. Very, very cool, and it's great to see a company of this size go above and beyond to make sure their products are fully compatible with GarageBand. So 
So who is the iRig Keys IO for then? IK Multimedia are keen to push it as an all-in-one solution for the musician on the go, and with its noticeably smaller form factor and weight when compared to other similarly priced controllers in its class, it definitely succeeds in that. In my opinion though, the IO will also suit a musician on a budget, who's not only looking for a good quality but affordable MIDI controller, but an audio interface as well. Add in the balanced stereo outputs, the addition of phantom power, and the ability to control your DAW of choice direct from the controller itself, and we're actually looking at a great option for a first or compact all-in-one studio setup. If you want to find out more about the iRig Keys IO, you'll find a link to my full written review in the description below this video. If you like this video, then hit the like button. I really do appreciate it. And it lets me know that you want to see more videos just like this one. If you're not subscribed already, now's a great time to do so. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell there to make sure you don't miss a thing. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.